In this Revit tutorial, I want to briefly discuss how you navigate in the uh, 2D environment. Uh, basically, uh, in Revit, if you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can use the wheel on your mouse. So if you roll the wheel forward, you zoom in. And if you roll the wheel backward towards yourself, you zoom out. So forward is in and back is out. We also have zooming options on the navigation bar that you see here on the right side of the screen. If the navigation bar is not present, if you've inadvertently closed it or something like that, you can go up to the top on the ribbon, to the View tab, over to User Interface, and there you'll see that you can check and uncheck the navigation bar, of course, among other things that you can see in your view. But there you can find the navigation bar if you close it by accident or if you close it on purpose and you want to find it again. In that navigation bar, when, especially when we're looking at a 2D view, it's going to be quite simple. Down at the lower portion of it, if I hit that small arrow, little drop down, you'll see that there's a variety of ways to zoom. Zoom in region is a very handy one. It's basically like zoom window. It will change my uh, my cursor, my icon. Then I can simply click and drag a window or a region and Revit will zoom into it. I can then back up or go forward. So let's zoom region. We can zoom out two times and I can cl keep clicking that button. Notice that whatever zoom you choose will stay actively on top of the navigation bar. I can say zoom in region, back up, zoom to fit, and zoom all to fit generally do about the same thing. It'll get your entire model uh, within your, your window. You can also zoom to whatever sheet size you happen to have active. Right now I think mine is an 8.5 by 11, so it's pretty small. You can previous pan or zoom to so wherever you just were. So you have a lot of options here. And whichever one you pick will stay on top once again. If I want to pan, that means moved up, down, left, or right without zooming in or out, I can simply push down on the wheel of my mouse and I get that kind of double-headed arrow look. That's panning. So in and out is zooming and pushing down on the wheel is panning. I can get to these tools as well by going to the navigation bar and picking the steering wheel. We have a 2D steering wheel right here, as you'll see in the menu. If I pick that and then bring it over to my drawing area, you'll see I get this kind of interesting looking wheel. While I have that kind of attached to my cursor, I can click on the zoom it will change to the zoom tool, so I'm actually using my left mouse button, and then I'm just pulling it down, kind of towards myself to zoom out, and up kind of away to zoom in. And then when I let go, it'll bring that steering wheel back. I can rewind back in time. You'll see that you have options where you want to rewind to. And I can also choose pan, and that will turn my left mouse button into the pan tool. Once I let go, the steering wheel reappears, and then I can just exit out to get rid of it. So those are the basic ways of um, navigating, zooming in and out and panning when you're in a 2D environment, like a floor plan view, an elevation view, or something like that.